you know, we talk about our outs, right? Well, I was all, out of all my outs. And, you know, I look back on it, I know it was the Lord that was doing that. Uh, and at the end of my fuel, I could hear, I heard the engine starting to cough. And I thought to myself, you know, this is, I got myself into this, but this is really unfair to this passenger sitting next to me. He's starting to panic because he sees we're, we've been on E. He knows the, the game, right? You're on E long yeah. enough. And so what did I do? You know, I didn't have an eject button or parachute. So, you know what? I decided to say my first prayer, Bob. The very first one. First prayer I'd never wow. prayed in my life. Mm. And it went like this. I said, if there's a God, I need your help now. Mm. And you know what? There was an illumination in my mind. In fact, I, I remember looking at the cockpit ceilings like, I feel like I'm glowing. Honest truth. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me in a male voice, a little sarcastic, and said, son, you said the right thing. Just like that. And I thought, what am I going to do with that at 3,000 feet? You know? But I just continued on. My engine cleared up. I kept going. And I looked out, and we kind of broke out, and I could see the outline of a city out in front of me. It was like this, looked like the celestial city, now that I've become a Christian and read that book. And I thought, this is cool, only one problem. I got 12 miles of 35 degree salt water across on no gas. And I'll tell you what, here I am today. I made it across, but I'll tell you what, when I landed, I was a different boy. Hmm. My heart was open now where it wasn't open before. Got my attention. Well, I was still stubborn. Flash forward five months. I decided to read the Bible. Flew through on a bet from what was to become my wife to read this Bible. So I read the Bible cover to cover honestly. And I decided I was going to be honest. I wasn't going to lie to anybody, but I was going to read it. And I'll tell you what, I fell in love with the God of the Bible. I shouldn't wow. be embarrassed by him. This is a cool guy. He's a nice guy. He's a fair guy. He's an easygoing guy. And he wants the best for us. And, of course, God introduced to Christ. Still was not a Christian. So what's going to happen to me to find Christ? So I woke up one morning in camp, walked out to the machine. I was working on a fleet of helicopters there. I was a pilot mechanic. And the ship was gone. We called our helicopter ships. Uh -huh. All your military guys will know that. And I... A guy drove up and says, you know what? He needed to make one trip to the top of the mountain. He's going to come back and get you. He knows he's supposed to pick you up right here. Great, great, great. Wait, wait, wait. No ship, no ship. Guy drives back, back, back up again and says, you know what? He crashed, but he's alive. So I take another ship up there to go look at this situation, right? And I look down there, and there's the ship upside down. But in my seat, there's a 55-gallon drum. If I'd have been in that aircraft, I'd have been dead. The pilot side was fine. Mm. The co-pilot side was destroyed with this drum in there, right? And I thought about that. I said, you know what? I'm just not getting it. So, you know what? They I had an extraction airplane to get me out of there. Uh, we pulled that. And uh, on the flight, it was March 15th, 1977, a long time ago, I gave my heart to Christ, clearly, definitively, confessed my sin, accepted Christ, and believed in creation. Uh, there was no compromise in that. And chapter 1, verse 1 of Genesis was on my heart and mind. I did not believe that. I couldn't believe it with my evolutionary uh, philosophy, a humanistic philosophy. I couldn't believe it. And you know I wrote that book, The Noah Code, later. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I wanted to uh, research that as hard as I did search for, searching for the voice and the God that spoke to me. And uh, you know what? I started saying more prayer. So I think, you know, the key, if I was to share with your audience anything today, is for those that are confused about God, want a relationship with God, just say that first prayer. God doesn't care your situation or uh, what your, your needs are. He's capable of answering prayer, even to a lost guy at 3,000 feet in the middle of nowhere in Alaska.